There are multiple challenges that developing countries face today. There's challenges in attracting investment. There's a lot of competition out there for where mining investments are going to go, uh, and, and it's not easy to attract investment. So that's one type of challenge. The second one, and the critical one, is to maximize the development benefits of the mining investments that do come while minimizing and avoiding the environmental damage that comes with it. I think perhaps the biggest pitfall, and especially in the least developed countries, uh, is a sense that they're beggars for investment, that they have to take whatever comes their way on whatever terms it comes. Uh, and, and that's really no longer the case. Uh, the kind of imaging of developing countries in terms of requiring investment that was put forward 20, 30, 40 years ago by different development institutes is really long gone and they have an, a capacity uh, and in fact, especially in the mining sector, they're the owners of the resource, it's the mining companies that need them in order to gain access to continue doing what they do uh, as much as they need the mining companies for development. So there really is a level playing field that, that a lot of governments haven't really figured out how to, uh, how to benefit from as yet. Uh, it's important for developing countries to understand today that achieving uh, the conclusion of a contract negotiation or a permitting process is the beginning of a relationship, not an end point. It's the beginning of a relationship designed to last 20, 30, 40, 50 years sometimes. And building in the ingredients, building in the elements that will foster a positive relationship for the full period of the investment uh, is what's really important today in those contexts, not the short-term goal of concluding a contract or concluding a permit negotiation. And within those elements, are the key considerations or should be the key considerations that allows the government to do its best to ensure that the mine will make a positive and significant contribution to economic development, social development, as well as to protecting the environment. Those are not exclu mutually exclusive concepts anymore.